Hi everyone, Gavin here on a Thursday evening, just finished with my last client and you look at this title in this video and you're thinking, oh great, Gav's finally giving his top tips on how to lose body fat and he's going to really give me this miraculous diet idea on how I can lose body fat quickly. Everyone sells that concept in the fitness industry. Everyone sells this whole miraculous idea of you losing X amount of body fat, you can do this within this amount of time frame, you can achieve this amazing lifestyle within weeks. And being in the industry for over a decade now, 12 years in fact, um, working with thousands of people from all walks of lives, I have seen a huge increase in the yo-yo fashion diet fads. I have seen more diets come out of the last five to 10 years than I have ever uh, recognized through looking at statistics over the last 50 years. In fact, if you look at the history of diets and fads generally, they kind of existed and came into um, the, the world that we live in in the 60s. So the human race has been around for thousands of years and then suddenly in the 1960s, diets come on the scene. Yeah, because people wanna make money and it's usually the people at the top who are making money off the people who are struggling with these diet fads. Sorry to say it how it is, but with various diet systems out there um, which aren't very much bespoke for the individual they're tailored technically point systems uh, you tend to find people go on these diets they jump on them they suddenly come off they find that they pull all the weight back on so oh i've got to go back onto this diet whereas if you adopt really good lifestyle habits and really good health habits and you're consistent with your nutrition, your lifestyle, your exercise, and you've got a plan and a strategy, you tend to do better than just jumping on some sort of fad diet. Now, put your hand up if you know that uh, you've been on a diet, a fad diet of some description, or if you know someone who has. I, I bet you know so many people, especially if you live in the UK or the US, um, I bet you know at least 20 people who've tried some sort of fad diet. And this comes on to my next point. If so many people you know accuse that diet of being a fad, why the freaking hell are you spending your time doing it? Let's be honest, why are you going as far as investing your hard earned money and your time and energy into doing these fad diets, full knowing that your whole friend circle and people you know have been saying, yeah, well I tried that fad diet, now I'm going on to this one. It's called lifestyle habits, guys. It's called having a structured lifestyle plan. And Anyone can crash diet, anyone can suddenly miraculously do a, a workout strategy for the next 12 weeks, lose fat weight and go from this transition to this transition. But it's how do you maintain a healthy uh, lifestyle and identify with more than just nutrition and exercise? How do you identify with your mental mindset? How do you identify with general health lifestyle habits that give you a an equal balance throughout the whole year. Now, I'm talking from experience now, so early 20s, I was lean as anything, and I was quite happy with my physique, and in my mid 20s, I was still getting bigger and putting on size on, and still relatively lean. In my late 20s, I decided to put loads of weight on, get really big and bulky, and get more into strongman and powerlifting, and a whole host of random exercise, because I was comfortable with my own skin. And, it was only because I recognised that the whole fitness game has gone towards aesthetics and getting my name out there and trying to generally get my word across to people. I've just got to get shredded and just get sick, get get a ridiculous six pack. I mean, I'm dieting at the moment and yeah, my clothes are getting quite tight on me in certain areas and obviously it's baggy here and tight around the shoulders, etc. But the world's changed in fitness. I've noticed the massive transition of the likes of beauty markets and other industries are now thinking, yeah, actually, if we look good as well as cosmetically look good, we'll appeal more to the general market and be able to market our products more and identify with our customers more. I find that with the general public especially, we are so conscious of crash dieting and losing fat weight and looking good for a short period of time, i.e. your beach holiday typically, summer period, oh yeah, I just wanna look good for my holiday. What about looking good all year round? What about actually feeling good in yourself and having the energy all year round consistently and just generally feeling good in yourself all year round? Why do you need to just like look your best and optimal for a short period of time? And 
I'd say 90% of people who come to me now want to just lose body fat and feel and feel better in themselves, more confident, should we say. Now, I've never met so many insecure people in the last year or two by physically getting out in the fitness industry a bit more. Um, I've noticed that, ironically, um, I've, I meet more insecure people in fitness than I do in the general public. And there's this whole perception by the general public that these fitness people are some sort of demigod in some case, and ironically, they they don't have these insecurities. No, these people are on a pedestal, and they don't they don't they don't have ped, they don't have this this insecurity. They don't worry about body dysmorphia and how they look and how they feel all the time. Um, the reality is, I actually meet more insecure people in the fitness industry than I actually do um, the general public, because at least the, someone coming to me who wants to lose body fat recognises they want to lose the, the weight here and naturally they want to feel good, feel better in themselves, feel more confident about how they live. In the fitness world, every little bit of detail matters. People in fitness are so self-critical that they will do whatever it takes to change certain elements of their body. And this is coming on to my next point with this video. You come into this video, you, you, you're looking for the secret you're looking for the, the, the dream answer of how to get all this body fat off. A few tips, and re watch some of my previous videos as well. A few tips, have a plan, have a strategy. If you're stuck for ideas, go and speak to someone who you know has experience at first hand working with people in transforming their lives. And identify with their testimonials and their before and after photos as much as identify with their well their, their qualifications as well as their referrals um, also try to identify with nutrition as much as the fixation on exercise now there's always this misconception that it's a 70 30 splits it's 70 percent nutrition it's 30 percent exercise no that's a load of crap. It's 100% effort on nutrition. It's 100% effort on fitness. It's 100% effort on lifestyle. So try and have a strategy. If you're stuck, go to a professional who's trusted. Um, that will save you a lot of heartache, a lot of time and energy, a lot of delusion with false advertising and a whole host of pills and fad diets and which, whatever. Also, be realistic as well and get out of your mind that because you can put pretty much anything on a credit card nowadays and buy whatever you want when you want it, get out of the mind that you can have the dream body like that. Now, I'm 30 now, right? So when I was in my teens, I always got told by older people, oh, it should be, it's easy for you at the moment, you'll always be lean and you wait till you get to my age, you'll put loads of fat weight on. I was thinking, yeah, whatever, teenager, thought I knew it all, late 20s, early 20s, yeah, whatever, Mr. 40 year old, I'll stay lean all year round, I can eat whatever I want, I can drink, I can party, yeah, I'm 30, I find it, I find it really hard right now to, uh, to keep the fat weight up, I'm not going to lie, it's tough, so this morning, 8 o'clock, I'm doing an incline walk, I'm doing a bit of cycling, and uh, later this afternoon, I was I was doing a back workout, a strength workout, so that was, that's two hours of exercise in a day. But I've had about six, seven meals as well today, and I'm having to be religious with it and consistent with it each and every day. Now, this is my lifestyle. Fitness has always been my lifestyle. Um, if you look at, if I look back at history, I was involved with sport from the age of three. Got involved with karate, boxing, uh, the likes of cross country, football, rugby. So it's pretty much a big part of my life and. Uh, it's not just something that I thought of uh, last week and thought, ah, you know what, I'm going to get into fitness. No, it's just a big part of my life. And that's the, that's the other missing link for a lot of people, is the fact that it's not a big part of their lifestyle. It's just a bolt on. It's just something they're going to pick up one week and drop the next. So that's coming on to my last final point. Stop making your fixation on losing body fat a quick fix. Make it a lifestyle. Make fitness your lifestyle, not 
something you pick at one minute and you drop the next. Anyway, I'm over with this little rant. I've got to train somebody else. Have a great Easter and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a good day.